Hi everyone, it's Lexi. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing my opinions on my Doc Martens boots and I'm also going to be putting together a few outfits and ideas on how to be confident and how to style them and how to look super, super cute wearing them. These are the boots that I have. These are my Doc Martens Sinclair women's platform boots. As you can see, there's kind of a texture on the boots for the leather and that is called black milled napa leather these boots went for 200 dollars like that was the the tag price and then of course when you buy them they're a little more expensive because of tack etc but i think that these are a really fun purchase and i'm gonna let you know why i recommend them or why i don't so these boots have a zipper that runs up the front which makes them fit really nicely actually because you don't have to like untie anything there are laces that come out of the top right here and you would just tie like a little bow but it's kind of like a fake bow like you don't need it you could also like tie around your ankle i guess i don't find that too comfortable these are pretty platforms so they're gonna make you tall like as if you're wearing high heels so that's something to really consider like personally i'm insecure about being tall i am five seven i know that's not very tall but these are really they're fun and they do make me a lot taller the one thing that i really notice about these is that in the heel part right here if your shoe doesn't fit all the way like tightly your heel is going to be sliding up and down in the shoe and it's going to kind of chafe and that gives me such bad blisters like such bad blisters and everyone's like lexi what you paid 200 dollars for a shoe that's going to give you blisters yeah yeah i did but it's okay it's okay these are basically brand new i've worn them maybe 10 times but i know people have them for like years and years so i'm assuming that these are gonna last me super super long which is great you can already see that the leather is bendy just because it's this texture but for example if it was the smooth leather it would be like i'd have to be working those boots really hard if you're lazy like me and you don't want to be like spending ages breaking in your boots I would recommend getting the bumpier leather just because it's more flexible. I've noticed that these boots are super, super great for wearing in the rain because there is no part that could possibly get your foot wet or even like the top of your shin wet and they're platformed and the bottoms of them are super grippy. Like they have a lot of um, texture on the bottom and they keep you from slipping around. These are really good for all weather, honestly. And there's no like, oh my gosh, it's suede. Like I have to waterproof them or I have to put on a special, like it's literally just leather. Like you can wear it in the rain. They keep me like nice and elevated off of the puddles. And I highly recommend that if you like live in a really rainy city, like in Seattle. Fun fact, I bought these in Seattle. So that's pretty cool. The side right here with the laces, they just go kind of like, it's like a fake. They just sort of like go in and out. It's not necessary, but it's kind of just the style. I liked them. Doc Martens does have boots that look exactly like this, but they just have the laces that go up the front without the zipper. But I thought the zipper was such a fun detail and I've never seen anyone wear them. And I was like, I want to be unique. Next, I'm going to be showing you outfit ideas on how to style your Doc Martens and how to look super cute and confident wearing them. Let's go! This first outfit is a purple long sleeve from Urban Outfitters that I paired with my flare jeans from Tommy Hilfiger. It is great for colder weather or a cute casual event. This next outfit is the same as the first one, except I layered this green thrifted sweater on top. It is super cozy and it's perfect for school or a lunch date or walking around downtown. The last outfit I put together is one for warmer weather, even though I totally wear this during the winter time in California. This tank top is from Brandy Melville and cream or off-white color goes with honestly everything. And once again, I'm wearing it with my favorite flare jeans. Next, I put together some earth-loving hippie outfits. First, I'm wearing a long skirt I got from Etsy from a seller in Thailand. I am pairing it with a vintage lace-up tank, and this is adorable for a picnic or going to get coffee in the spring or summer. Here, I'm wearing the same lace-up tank, and I'm wearing it with these fun balloon pants that I got from the same seller on Etsy. Shopping on Etsy is awesome because you can get all sorts of unique options on just one site. I will link the seller I bought from below. 
This last tree hugging outfit is made up of a tank top that I cropped that is originally from Hollister, as well as these striped flare leggings that were gifted to me. This is by far the most comfortable outfit and I would totally wear it to a friend's house or to a place like the drive-ins. Now we are moving on to dressier outfits. I wore this outfit on Christmas Eve this year. I am wearing a three quarter sleeve turtleneck long sleeve from Brandy Melville. This is by far my favorite Brandy Melville purchase yet. On the bottoms, I am wearing a patterned corduroy mini skirt from Urban Outfitters, as well as a pair of sheer black tights to pull it all together. I love that I'm able to dress up or dress down my Doc Martens. They are so, so versatile. This is literally the same outfit as before, but instead I paired it with a plaid pleated skater skirt from Hollister. I love this skirt so much and it is so stretchy. I wore it on Thanksgiving and it was the best decision of my life. Last but not least, the dress of my dreams. I got this fun fitted dress from Urban Outfitters just recently. Without the tights and boots, it's basically a cocktail dress, but I feel like the tights and boots really make it an outfit. This is definitely the most fancy outfit I've shown, and it totally demonstrates how versatile these boots really are. Comfort is definitely a four out of 10, but style is 100% a 10 out of 10. 